<laughs> so it's got these really skanky two and four positions, which is nice. Really I love that position. Yeah. So one of the main things I, I uh, um, felt when I first got that guitar, yeah. it's like usually when I play single coil stuff, yeah. I feel like I got the juice here, and I got the juice there, but in yeah. the middle, I tend to stick to rhythm. But yeah. in this guitar, yeah. for some reason, I, I find it's you play lead? <laughs> it, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's fun. It is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's got uh, a lot of character in the different pickup positions, which is really cool. Oh, yeah, like a lot of that. Got, a, got a spunk in there, yeah. yeah. That's fun. Like that's a, that's a really. Like, it's fun. The, yeah, the number four. It is fun. I see what you mean about silly. Because <laughs> it's you true. Know, yeah, not the guitar's not silly. The, the tones are are fun. So you play sort of more like. I, that's what every time you know. I pick it up, I find myself just doing all like the. Just just do just do just being yeah. silly. Like that much. That much kind of skankiness in those in these yeah. positions is pretty awesome. You know, those when you when you play like a strat style guitar, I find the neck position and then these two are the ones that most people like it'll make or break the guitar, you know? Yeah. The bridge is like on strats is is kind of like almost maybe the most I'm gonna say malign. It's the mo it's it's the one that people just assume it's gonna be a little ice picky and it's yeah. like more people sort of gravitate towards these ones as being the the, the, the deal breakers. You know, that one, this one, and this one. Yeah. Know? But this sounds good too. Now, it is a real radius fingerboard. And it's funny because I yeah. saw John on the internet talking about Yeah. Uh, he's like, radius? I don't even think about that in the video, you know? He was just and like. That, like he couldn't describe it as far as number wise, it's just like a feel. He, he says he doesn't. It's just something that he doesn't really. He's like, who thinks about that? Like the radius, so that like whether it's a fourteen or a twelve or a compound or a seven and a half. He goes, I just pick up a guitar and decide whether or not. It was, so I don't want to misquote him. Yeah, right, right, sure. sure. Like he, you know. But but I do notice it on this guitar. It is a vintage radius, and so it's it's like the bending and like working your way from here to here yeah. to here. And it does. It does. Around. It, it, you, sure. you know it, and it does fret out when you go super Albert King land. Well, so I. Tr when we were playing our, our jam. I went there and I, I went, okay, I want to see how it does with a minor third on the on the high E string. You gotta you gotta you gotta do it above the twelfth fret. And does it It seems okay. Alright, that So, no, that is good. Yeah. So when I um, when I first played one of these, yeah, um, Pierce gave me one to borrow. Yeah. And um, the one that I had, every time I bend, I would say from 15 above on the high E string, and yeah. it would have to be at least a step and a half, but yeah. like two steps. I mean, like really pushing it, it would fret out. But I had to work. And then I talked to the guy at the factory, yeah. and he was like, "Yeah, you can fix that with a setup." Well, which means raise the action. <laughs> exactly, which means raise the action. So maybe that one's a little higher. But that's okay. It is high. It's high from, like, if you compare it where, where I've got my guitar set up, you wouldn't sure. be able to have the action yeah. that low. But that's it. when we think of it the way that John plays, he's a magnificent guitar player. Dude, and, he very much so. And he, he's not about, it's, it's he's... He's not like playing blistering shred arpeggios. Thank God. He's playing more like you know. He's, <laughs> each note means a little more. And and this is a guitar that where each you know you, you you would tend to play a little slower and put more in it. I mean, it's not the right guitar for that anyway. If you're yeah. if you're off, you know, that's not what you're gonna buy. Yeah, it's like you're gonna you're gonna you know. <laughs> you know, you want it's a guitar where you can put a little bit more into each note. I think, and. Maybe I'm not saying it's hard work, but it is. It's a vintage Strat sort of radius and feel. So yeah. that's your thing. And with these, but the tones, it is a fun guitar. It's a really fun guitar. It's very different than what I've got going on here with my signature guitar. Yeah. So, so is this the is this the the Thornbucker? Yeah. So the pair of Thornbuckers. Yeah. So I uh, when I again when the same same video I'm referring to, which will be in the description. 
when I got that guitar, I yeah. brought a buddy of mine over uh -huh. who has a Sur, and he's got like I guess what's their version of the Super Strat, but he's got the Thornbacher here. Okay, yeah. And the first time I played that, screaming man. Cool, Dude, yeah. Like screaming, like I I. Really a good job, dude. Well, dude, you. big time. It, awesome. it, it was you. it was one of those things where I was just like, "What the hell is this?" He's like, "Dude, it's the Thornbucker." <laughs> <laughs> well, we were going for um, PAF, but with a real balance. Yeah. So like, let's trade back right. one more time. And uh, this was fun. It was really fun to. That's the first time I ever played this through an amp. So. Oh the, really? Yeah, and I, I like yeah. the sound. That lot. that's the best way I can describe it. You know, like it all the sounds are there. You know, yeah, it feels a little different. You know, but it does have that vintage feel. But I just feel like it's just I just had fun playing it. It's I fun. find myself I, agree. I found it playing it all week. Yeah. And I got a bunch of great guitars to choose from here, but it's just like it's fun. It is fun. It's a it's really fun. It sounds great. It's got a lot of character. Single coils have character. So I yeah. then this that's the nice thing I was gonna say about these pickups is that so with the humbuckers, and I've actually got the bridge a little too low right now. I want to move it up a little bit. But the, the idea here is the balance. So if I go from here. And what I should really do, the appropriate thing would be to just hit the clean channel. So the idea being that you don't really have to change the amp settings. Yeah. Like the treble bass middle on your amp should stay the same for. Yeah. That's how it doesn't get like ice picky in the bridge and the, yeah. and the neck is still clear. It sort of sounds raunchy there, but it's not like, ow, like all of a sudden when you hit the bridge, and the neck's got enough clarity. Yeah. So that was what we were really going for. Now, beyond that, what, what I was going for was some, like the tap tones are terrific. So you can get a ton of versatility out of this one guitar. Yeah. Tap. Here. Tap here. Like, if you, if you want to get close to that sound. It's not going to get there exactly, but... You know, it's got a lot of character, and it buzzes like a single quote, because it is one at that point. <laughs> but, um, you know, there's, I got there's you. character. Ah, we're, we got to wind down soon. But anyway, so I'll just... Can I wind up with a few of the Do it. features about this? So, okay, so basically, the difference between this and this is pretty huge in that this has got a 10 to 14 compound radius. Is that what it is? 10 to 14, I believe so, yeah. Great big frets. <laughs> Say, do you know the specs on your own guitar? <laughs> yeah, I can sometimes I forget if it's nine and a half to just 10 to 14. That's the, that's the, so it's, it's rather flat. And then it's got great big frets because in the 80s, I knew I liked the big frets and then I got away from it for a while. And now I'm back and like, why did I ever get away from it? I knew what I wanted in 1987. I wanted yeah. like the big guys. Yeah. So it's like, these frets just feel good to me. Bending and stuff like that. Got a really great neck profile. He calls it an even C slim, but it's really not that slim. It's just kind of a nice. Dude, no, it you know, it feels great, man. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I dig it. Or we'll give credit to John Sir because he came dude, up with it. Damn nice guitar, dude. And one of the things about this guitar that I got going right now that's really unique is this bridge, okay? Mm -hmm. Which is if you look at the saddles, see the locks on the saddles. Yeah. So the string's passing under an Allen screw. Yeah. And then you can simply just lock down that that's screw. That's cool. And so what you've got is locking. Um, locking bridge kind of stability. If you've got a slippery enough nut and you're using uh, locking tuners, yeah. cold steely fifth stay in tune. You know? yeah. So you can get this. This has been like a revelation for me because I grew up playing on Floyd Roses. Yeah. But I like the tone of the Strat bridge. Yeah. And not having to cut the ball end is nice. So now with this bridge, I can get all my Jeff back yeah. in. Yeah. That's stuff. cool, and, man. Because this used to be a big part of the way that I played using the yeah. bar back. Yeah. Then, like I say, even back way back when. And now I can get. I can get all that stuff going now with all that character and not worry about being out of tune. Because I feel like even on the best traditional strap bridges or the best two-post, you know, if it's still got the traditional saddles, 
the E and the G still tend to yeah, get funky. They wander. Stuff. Yeah, they wander, and that drives me crazy because I like being in tune. <laughs> so that's the guitar, basically. Dude, it's yeah. awesome. Well, dude, thank you so much for doing this. Yeah, a real it's, pleasure. It's been man. it's been a real pleasure, man. Thank you. And um, guys, make sure you follow the hashtag GitCon2018. You click the link in the description. If you don't already follow him, please do. And uh, there's lots of great content coming out. And uh, we'll tag that guitar. And dude. I've been a fan of yours for a long time. Thank you for doing this. Thank you so much, man. Thanks for showing me that guitar as well. I appreciate that. I told you, man. It's fun. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right, you guys. Awesome. See you. See ya.